oh my God, we're all going to die. I mean, eventually, you know, everybody's going to die. Sorry if I had to be the one that, to break it to you. Anyway, that's not related. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. It's just do me A-F-R-N around here, y'all. I'm trying to sound hip slang to attract ladies half my age. Oh my God, the gloom is on fleek. It's not working. Okay, because like, man, I need a break from weather. People might say, Thor, you've been all about the weather. Do you even care about asteroids? And of course I do. Don't be ridiculous. Hopefully, this asteroid will just pass by Earth harmlessly, and we'll just end up perfect strangers. You may be like, Thor, where are all these Balky-related jokes coming from? And you'll find out next on Asteroid Fight Club. Holy crap, 2.6 lunar distances. With that threat looming above us, the world's space agencies are swinging into action. Well, if you're hankering for a hunk of chunk of commentary action, I am Thor of Thor News, your magic cat dragon, Action Jackson. Stay cool. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. And here we go. Thor News presents... What do you know? We got an asteroid that could thump and lump a city. That could thump a city, leaving a giant lump on its skull. If cities metaphorically had skulls. Man, I'm gonna feel bad. Like, if this thing really hits Earth and kills people, I'm gonna have to take this video down because they're gonna be like, our entire city wiped out. And Thor of Thor News made jokes. But if it doesn't, maybe it was my jokes that kept it away. Maybe the asteroid will hear it and be like, hey, that Thor dude is cool. I'm not gonna mess with that planet. I'm just gonna wave and smell. Because I don't think I've showered since I got back from California, which is like four days. That's how hard I've been working. Like, work, pass out. Wake up, work, pass out. Okay, so yeah, after this video, I'll take a shower. Oh, crap, that means I gotta clean my apartment, too. Okay, so, thanks to Ron Balke, we now have a newly discovered 7-meter asteroid, 2017 Jackaroo Apricot. It will make a very, very close flyby of Earth today. It's 0.26 lunar distances. And a lunar distance is the distance between Earth and the Sun. Wait, I screwed that up. That's an astronomical unit. A lunar distance is the distance between Earth and the Moon. And although it varies, we're using the mean average. All right, so here's the deal, man. Let's swing on by real, real close. Zoop. I wish I could see Earth spin to see, like, when this can happen. Hey, did somebody knock it out of the asteroid belt? How did I just find it now? Maybe it's a chunk of an old comet. Maybe it's part of comet. Maybe it's part of comet Ison, man. I'm just so excited to talk about something other than the weather. And I have to forgive my flippancy. Is that even a word? Okay, so what do we know? Because, yeah, I have a rule. At Thor News, I got burned out on asteroids as well. I was like, man, I don't even know if they're real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why don't they put a higher GoPros in the asteroid belt? You know, why don't I get to see pictures of multiple asteroids? Anyway. And so, 2017, if it does hit Earth, I'm going to change the name from 27 Jackaroo Apricot to Jerkass. So there you go. Man, that's it. Be on the lookout. Shoot, it'll probably pass by Earth before you even woke up. I don't know. I just found out about it. Thought I'd let you know. A, as the leader of Asteroid Fight Club, I don't know, it's weird. Like, California, Santa Monica, you said a 3-0 earthquake, and everybody on Twitter freaked out. So we got earthquakes, super crazy storms, asteroids. Dude, this is totally an action-adventure romance comedy that needs way more comedy, way more romance. So that's it. We could all die from asteroids today. So enjoy life and treat people well. And somebody was saying, like, we're going through, like, Halley's debris field and... I'd seen some things that were saying that, like, there have been more meteors and shooting stars lately. Fireballs. But I was so wrapped up in the weather. I was like, we must combat the strategic flooding that our, that our country is being attacked by in these weather warfare for profit and power. That, you know, I just tunnel visioned it. So I've untunnel visioned it. And I'm like, oh my God, we got all die from asteroids. It's really great because I'm tired of weather, but it's really bad because this is real. See here at spaceweather.com. It says, meteors from Halley's Comet. According to Canada's meteor orbit radar, Seymour, a hotspot has appeared in the constellation Aquarius as a sign that the annual Aquarid meteor showers is underway. So is this asteroid a part of the Halley's meteor shower? I don't know, maybe. But the whole thing is, dude, like, Halley's orbit is giant. And the NASA JBL thing says the orbit is goes just out to the asteroid belt. Who to believe? I don't know. I guess we can figure out if it hits Earth. And if it just passes by, then it was like it never really existed. You know? So, maybe I'll check back on the story. Maybe I won't. 
But it says meteor activity could increase on the 4th. Strongest activity in most years is around May 6th, which may still prove true in 2017. So I guess just as that giant storm ends, you're totally now on asteroid meteor fireball meteorite watch. All sky fireball network data not available. Oh, that's not cool. See, the news is so fresh. It's not even on spaceweather.com. Crazy. And the thing is, I got a rule with Thor news. I ain't going to talk about asteroids unless they're under one lunar distance. And in theory, this thing could plow through all the satellites, but I'm not even sure satellites are there. How come the ISS never takes pictures? You know, somebody said, like, after I said that in a the video, then NASA put up some satellites in one of the ISS photos or some shit. I was like, thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm in a weird mood. I should, I should shut this off. Okay, love you guys. Stay cool. Remember, if the asteroid is headed towards you, stop, drop, and roll. Wait, wait, that's not right. Okay, duck and cover. Wait, that's not right either. Okay. Seriously, if you see the asteroid coming, okay, stand up, grab your wand, and go, Expecto Patronus! I mean, it's as good a shot as any. Though, seriously, here's the real science. If an asteroid is striking, look away. Because if you look into the flash, you might be blinded. Blinded by the fireball light. I don't know if it hits Earth. It's a meteorite. All right, there you go. Peace out. God bless everyone. I'm sorry for this video, man. You gotta understand. I do weather. That stuff drives me crazy. Crap. All right, whatever, done. All right, so if it does hit Earth, then I'm going to have to, like, take this down. So it's not like a total jerk. Jerk ass. I don't want to be the jerk ass. Anyway, okay. I'll keep you guys posted. And thank you, Mr. Ron Falke. I'll try not to let any jokes in from that old sitcom back in the day. I used to watch Dude That Was a Goat Herger. What's the name of it? Growing Pains? No. I'm going to try and put it in. Okay. Thanks, Ron Balky. Or shall I call you Bronson Pin Show? These gift pixels are walking. Yes, indeed. They're not talking to you and me. Okay, wait, what? Skin, structure, energy. Can I, can we get some clothes on that dude? Okay, thank you. What does this even have to do with asteroids? No. No kidding. Everyone of you dicks wants to talk about planets. Valley's trail of dusty debris stretches all the way back to Earth. In space, no one can hear you scream. Every day. Stay cool. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right.